Hi friends, in the today's video we are going to see about understanding lateral shift experiment and this is not related to SSC JE video and if you are looking for SSC JE video and you can check in playlist and this is not related to SSC JE video and uh, those who are preparing for SSC JE exam and they can check in playlist and uh, other SSC JE videos I will upload in the next video and this video is exclusively for a class 10 uh, students who are appearing for public exam in coming academic year and see here see here this is main aim is understanding lateral shift here aim is understanding lateral shift and the material required for this is drawing board is needed and for doing all this initially some drawing board is needed after that you will place a chart you will place a white chart on that and after that you will place clamps okay you will place some clamps on both sides of this white sheet okay and after that you will use a scale pencil and thin glass slab and pins all these materials you have to use again i am repeating what are the materials required for doing this experiment drawing board chart paper clamps scale pencil and thin gla glass slab and pins see see the procedure here initially what you have to do initially you placed a glass slab here initially initially on this white sheet you placed a glass slab after that name this as a b c d okay after that name this as a b c d and after that choose a point approximately near to the center okay choose a point any one side other this side this side you can choose or this side which one which one longer side you have to choose okay longer sides are a b and d d c are the longer sides so you can choose this side or this side i am choosing this side a b okay at this position i am choosing and draw a perpendicular line okay at this position draw a perpendicular line which is nothing but a normal we can say to this surface draw a normal okay draw a normal it is between two surfaces this is the glass slab and this is the uh, air okay this is separating two mediums okay this is the normal line okay at this point you are taking after mm -hmm. that what you have to do you have to place a glass slab and see the experiment and see the experiment observe clearly observe it okay and instead of pqrs i have taken abcd as per the textbook notation i have taken abcd and observe clearly now using a protractor you, we will make a we will mark an angle of 30 degrees see here at this position you are keeping at this position at this position you are keeping protractor and after that you are placing protractor and from this position you are observing angle okay from this position you are observing angle here from this position you observe the angle 30 degrees and after that you are joining these two points okay again i am repeating see here see here again again observe clearly once again i am repeating just observe clearly i have taken pqrs no i am not taken pqrs i am taken a b c d the same a b c d i have taken after that you have to place a protracted here you have to place a protracted here and from this point onwards this is 0 no 0 10 20 like there no from this point you have to take 30 degrees exactly at this position you have to mark it okay you have to mark it with pencil after that this point and the center point you have to join these two points you have to join which is nothing but an incident angle it is this is instant angle and from this normal to incident ray is nothing but instant angle which is 30 degrees you have taken after that what you are placing you are placing in glass slab now block is replaced exactly on its boundary of the line okay previously by using the glass slab you drawn a rect rectangle now in the same place you are placing glass slab now okay after placing a glass slab how the experiment is going on you can observe here at this side at this side okay 30 degrees you have taken observe clearly and you are placing a two pins 
you have taken 30 degrees angle now on that line a place a two pins let it be here and some other place you can pick place another pin also okay one pin i'm placing here and another position somewhere on that same line you are keeping one more pin just placing one more pin there okay and observe it clearly it is very important so one side you are placing two pins with 30 degrees angle okay and other side you will observe where the two pins will align in the same line very very important point this one very 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 important see here on at which point both two pins are align together align in a same line you are looking from other side okay you are looking from other side of the glass slab where the two pins align in a same line though the pins are here it is appears to be see here it appears to be placing here okay though the two pins are here you will see the pins in some other position some shift is occurring some lateral shift is occurring here at which position both pins align in a same line we have to place one more pin that is the third pin you are placing in other side of the glass slab okay <coughs> third pin you are placing in your third pin you are placing in other side of the glass slab okay after that one more pin that is the fourth pin that you are placing which are aligning a same line okay other side two pins are here actually okay other side two pins are here and when you are looking from other side of the glass slab both pins appears to be in a same line both pins are appearing in a same line from this position okay so you, you, you place the two pins here okay you place the two pins now look at the experiment from the top <clears throat> observe clear, careful it is okay carefully observe it these two pins are aligned in same line total all four pins aligned in a same line at this position now look at the look at the total experiment now other two pins are other side of the glass slab is appearing like this and one side is appearing in this way now what you have to do now you have to remove those pins and mark a point and later you have to join those lines okay so i am removing removing those pins and marking this as a point and after that what i will do i will join those two points so other side also i am removing now now we can place the glass slab beside and no use of that after that just remove the pin and make a point just mark that point and join those all the pins and extend this two pins after joining these two pins extend this to the glass slab position okay when you are extending this to glass slab position you will know where the refracted light ray that is where the other side of the emergent ray is appearing and at this position you are taking normal okay now finally we will join these two points okay in textbook if you observe and he has taken in other side and any side you can take okay no problem okay for the convenience of this experiment we have taken an other side of the glass lab okay in study material you can find other side of the glass lab position here this is the incident ray and other side is a refractor or emergent ray and by using the protractor we will measure that what is the angle of emergence okay emergent ray angle also you can find by using protractor here the angle of incidence equal to angle of emergence okay and if you extend this incident ray in a straight line if you extend this line in a straight line what happens the distance between 
this emergent ray and um, here this, this emergent ray and incident ray are parallel okay if you extend the incident ray how it came this is exactly parallel to this emergent ray so the distance between emergent ray and the incident ray is called as lateral shift we say okay this is the lateral shift okay that is the perpendicular distance between these two lines is called as lateral displacement or lateral shift okay this is all about the experiment of understanding lateral shift okay so thanks for watching this video please like this video and share this video with your friends and thank you